Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Captain Creativity. I am your host, David Merrill. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because we're going to have a news announcement of some exciting things that are happening in the 3D printing space. We're still going to be releasing a video this week on an unboxing and a setup of a 3D printer, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's get started. So our first story for today is going to be on Creality. Tomorrow is going to be their 10 year anniversary launch party and they're going to release some new products. And we already have a sneak peek of what these products might be. Basically someone in a subreddit forum has posted some sneak pictures that they got from a beta release or alpha release of a Creality slicing program. And it looks like there's going to be a K2 plus. Uh, we know that the build size is going to be 350 by 350, so that's great. And we also know that they're going to basically be releasing an AMS. I can't imagine it's anything else because the screenshots actually show settings of selecting different filaments in one of the screenshots that were posted online. Price-wise, I can't imagine it going for... Uh, anything less than $800. I think it's going to likely be somewhere around $899. Uh, I do believe that they're going to do a combo with the AMS that will make it a little bit more cost effective if you so choose to go that route. I'm really hoping that the AMS is not going to be built in. I think it will hopefully be a separate thing that you can purchase, uh, which would be great because Personally, I've not been the biggest fan of AMS units, but more on that later. So with that being said, expect $899, as I mentioned. Um, we actually can see uh, evidence of this pricing because we know that the K1 Max has, a, has already dropped down to $719. And with coupons, some people are getting it for somewhere in the sixes. Um, so don't expect it to be anything less than $8.99 in my opinion. But anyway, moving on to the next story, and this is what's really exciting for me because I actually like this company and I haven't heard a lot from them in, recent, in, in the recent months since all the new Core XY stuff was coming out, and that is Anycubic. It looks like Anycubic is also going to be tackling the AMS uh, situation, and they are going to release one of their own. Um, you know, we haven't heard much from AMS recently, um, not since, the, you know, the K2, um, not the K2, I'm sorry, the, um, we haven't heard a lot from them since the release of the Cobra 2 Max. Uh, which is a bed slinger. I believe Anycubic was completely side blinded by Bamboo Labs, and I think they've been spending their time rather than releasing uh, a product that is full of uh, flaws and issues. I'm hoping that they took this time to work on something stable. And so they didn't rush to market, and I'm kind of excited to see if we're going to see a Core XY solution from them. Um, so that will be very, very exciting. Um, I don't know much more about it. I don't know if there's gonna be any kind of, um, I don't know anything about pricing. I don't, any, I don't know anything about the build dimension. Um, but if anything, I would love it to be something in a Core XY that actually achieves 400 by 400 by 400, that would be amazing. Um, anyway, here's the one thing that I will tell you guys about AMS, and take it or leave it, but my opinion is AMS is completely overrated. Yes, it is absolutely amazing to 3D print in multiple colors, no doubt. But the problem is it has an immense amount of waste and all those benefits from your 300 millimeters per second to 600 millimeters per second mean nothing when you're doing multiple filaments. 
those changes severely reduce the print time. So why are you going to get something that is going to diminish your print time? Yes, it's cool that you could come out with it, but you could just as easily use paints or you can use acrylic paint pens if it's for kids. I think personally, the way it is right now, it's just such a waste. Now, with that being said, will they solve the waste problem? One way we know that people have been getting around the waste problem is that they have to print multiple of the same object. So instead of printing one item, they'll print 20 items, and then that way there's going to be less waste. But in the, case, and in the case of Prusa, they actually have multiple extruders. I doubt we're going to see multiple extruders on the Anycubic or the Creality, but I am interested to see whether or not they figure out some alternative way to get the printing time down and the waste down. So that's all that I have for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and be sure to comment below um, if you have any new information, if anything I'm saying is uh, inaccurate or you have additional tips, please share them below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like us.